Hi everyone, my name is Kara Sapkowski, and I'm the 2012-2013 Northeast Region Area 5 Venturing President. And this is our presentation on how to recruit girls into venturing. A quick recap of venturing. Venturing is a co-ed program set up by the Boy Scouts of America for youth aged 14 to 21 or 13 and have graduated the 8th grade. Venturing works by giving out awards, not ranks, which is one of the main differences between a venturing crew and a Boy Scout troop. Another important difference about venturing is that it is gender neutral. Male or female, venturing is for you. So this brings up the question, why recruit girls? Why should you spend a little time focusing on this particular market? Reason number one. Scouting is a family program. The mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to prepare young people to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetimes by instilling in them the values of the Scout Oath and Law. This is what parents want for their children, and this is what grandparents want for their grandchildren. Whether or not boy or girl, this is what venturing does. Scouting likes to market itself as a family program, and as such, it is currently the only program out there where all members of the family can fully participate. Mom and Dad can be a troop leader, Cub Scout leader, or maybe even an adult advisor in a venture crew. Brothers and sisters can both join. Little Timmy can be the 8-year-old Cub Scout, and his older sister, Samantha, can be a 14-year-old venturer. Family means being able to have the family involved in the same scouting organization. And venturing teens help get their younger brothers involved, or keep them involved in Cub Scouting and Boy Scouting. Think of it this way. Samantha is recruited into venturing, and her little brother Timmy never knew anything about Cub Scouts. But now he gets to see all the cool things that his older sister is doing, and he really looks up to his older sister. She's rock climbing, participating in archery tournaments, learning about things she's interested in, and having fun with her friends. And Timmy wants to do that, so he begs his mom to join Cub Scouts. And he loves it, and sticks with it into Boy Scouts. He and he becomes an Eagle Scout, all because he looked up to his older sister. Here's a quote. My older brother had been involved in scouting, and I used to come on hikes with him and his friends. It seemed like so much fun, and I wanted to get more involved. And when I started high school, I joined my brother's venture crew, because it was a way to get involved in scouting, and spend more time with my brother, doing things that we both enjoy. Now that might sound like a perfect scenario, but more often than not, this is how the family program of scouting plays out. Girls bring membership. We all know girls are a little more chatty than boys, usually. And girls tend to tell other girls about what they're doing. Hey Susie, guess what I did this weekend? Or hey, guess what Ashley? I was having a blast going on that trail this weekend. Venturing is becoming the socially cool thing to do. And no girl is going to be ashamed to join when everyone else is talking about it. Girls like to say that they're keeping up with the boys. And girls will talk about it. And 9 out of 10 times, their guy friends will hear too. Girls will get boys to join venturing that would have normally never had an opportunity to join boy scouting. This is just another way you can tap into one market and it can help bring membership into another. Girls and new ideas. Typically, females are involved with different activities than boys, and they may have some different backgrounds. Girls may have some different ideas for trips, community service, or fundraising. It may seem a little scary to open up the door to change, but remember, if we were always doing the same exact thing and going with the same exact way of doing it, nothing would ever improve or change. Another cool thing is that girls will open the doors to businesses owned by women. Typically females stick together. 
there's an unwritten rule of sisterhood that sometimes comes out in different scenarios. Venturing may be one of them. A new group to recruit. Half of the American population is female, just like everywhere else in the world. And girls can often make up 50% of a venture crew or more. If you're looking to add to the number of your venture crew, then remember, don't forget girls. There's a 50% market group that you may not have been looking into originally. So, if you're looking to add girls to your crew, where should you look? Now that we've gone into why you should bring girls into a venture crew, we're going to go into how to recruit them. What makes them want to join? Recruitment events. This concept is the same exact one that you would use to try and bring people in to a Cub Scout pack or troop. It's all about showing them what is interesting within that program. In this case, venturing. Have an open hike or maybe a fun meeting that you specifically invite girls to. And choose things that your crew does often and girls might be interested in. Some popular examples are an indoor rock climbing night, a ski day, or even a holiday party. But always never forget to include food. Every teenager loves food, and it's usually a good reason for them to show up. Just like you have boy talks, presentations in a school are a great way to bring in new members. Ask a local superintendent or your local school principal if you can hold a presentation after school for any interested members. Or have a poster ready to be put up inside the school, or maybe a flyer handed out as students are leaving. You can also ask to this be put in the morning announcements or afternoon announcements of a school. Another interesting thing that you can do with inventoring that you might not be able to do anywhere else is that you can have presentations to troop and pack families. This goes back to our family of scouting concept which is perhaps the most important idea that goes within this presentation. Invite the troop members to have their family, including their sisters, come to a meeting and learn more about the venture crew. You can invite both boys and girls to the family this way. Remember, you're getting the entire family involved. It's easier on the parents. Mom doesn't have to drive to 10 soccer games, ballet practice, a wrestling meet, and forensics competitions every week. Now she has one place to go for her entire family, and that makes us a very appealing organization. Another important thing to remember is that girls naturally recruit themselves. Remember how I said girls are chatty? We'll take a look at this picture here, the first one, with all the girls in the bowling balls. The girl to the far right in the red shirt is responsible for recruiting half of the girls there. The girl in the green shirt on the left is responsible for recruiting the other half. Now look at the bottom picture. This is the same exact crew, and this picture was taken only a few weeks after the first. As you can tell, their numbers have grown immensely. All they did was hold a miniature recruiting campaign by talking to their peers and letting them know how much fun they were having. This is a real life example from a crew in my council. As you can tell, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Just remember, girls recruit. Social media. We all know how important it is to harness social media in this day and age. And it's also incredibly important to get the backing of the local teens that use it. Stereotypically, female teens will use social media more than male teens. They tend to take more pictures and post cool and fun ones all over their Facebook page and Instagram. Instagram is a new concept that's used by teens to share pictures of activities. There's even a brand new Instagram venturing page set up by National. Simply put, hashtag venturing. Another important concept to use and memorize is that sometimes very young teen girls do not use email. That is not true for every single young teen girl or young teen boy as email is still a very necessary portion of today's communication technology. However, still remember, not everyone uses email, and social media tends to be used more than email by a young teenage girl. 
Here's an example of how social media can work in your favor. I was on Facebook one day, and I saw some pictures that my friends were posting from a ski trip and other outings that they had gone on with their venture crew. I thought it looked like a lot of fun, and I loved to ski, so I asked my friend to bring me along to the next meeting with her. It was cool finding a group of people with the same interests as me. Your main market that you will be competing against when trying to bring girls into a program is Girl Scouts. If a female is into Scouts, typically this is where they'll look first, but usually that's because they do not know about the venturing program. Remember to market that venturing has the ability to choose your own program, everything from high adventure to hobbies, anything you can imagine. It's your weekend. Now many teen girls feel like the Girl Scout program is out of touch with who they are. And this is an outlet for girls interested in service, high adventure, hobbies, and the ideals of scouting in general. Venturing offers all of these concepts, plus tons more. Recruiting girls sounds like a great idea, but why are there still such a backlash on the concept? Well, here are the ideas that we have found listening to people's concerns about girls. Concern number one, girls will cause competition for leadership positions. This is a myth. Having more people to compete with leadership positions for will cause both sexes to work harder as leaders. Competition can usually bring out the best in people. They will both give each other insight that they might not have had otherwise. Sometimes a female might think about something differently than a male will, and vice versa. Cooperating with each other and learning how to work with each other is a good life skill that every scout should have. Concern number two, boys will scare the girls away. This is a huge myth. Girls often like hanging out with boys just as much as they like hanging out with girls and will give them a chance to participate in activities that are not always available to girls. In fact, being around girls in a friendly, crew setting can help Boy Scouts learn how to properly interact with a female better in their everyday lives and how to treat them with respect. The same goes for a female as well. It's better usually to have everyone interact with each other in a safe environment where they can learn about each other and find out their differences and their similarities. The next concern, having a co-ed venture crew will take boys away from their troop. I'm sure you've heard this argument before. Oh, they're taking away all the good kids. That's a pretty bad argument to make. All the kids in your troop should be considered good, whether or not they are just as active as another one. Remember though, that venturing can be used as a tool to help keep scouts involved in scouting, rather than pull them away from it. Adventure crews do not do all the same things as troops, so it's not necessarily the same exact competition. This concern is something that you'll usually hear about the OA by many scoutmasters, and it should be dealt with in the same exact manner. Bottom line, venture crews actually increase membership within your council. Remember, this goes back to your family of scouting and the fact that girls are chatty. Girls can often make up a majority of a venture crew. This typically just hints of how it works. Usually if you get one girl, you're going to get many more. The mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to prepare young people to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetimes by instilling in them the values of the Scout Oath and Law. Note how our mission statement does not just say Scouts, and it also does not just say Boys. Venturing uniquely fulfills the mission with all youth age 14 to 21. Marketing specifically to girls will bring our mission to more youth and increase our membership higher than if we don't. Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation on recruiting girls into venturing. Written and produced by the 2012-2013 Northeast Region Area 5 VOA. If you have any more questions or if you'd like to talk to us about this presentation, simply visit us at our website at ne5venturing.org and we'll help you in any way we can. Once again, thank you for watching.